OMG Ubuntu. Hello, it's me, Dude from OMG Ubuntu here. I'm showing you through Ubuntu 11.10 Beta 1 here, which, as you can see, is looking pretty, pretty special. If you've been following the blog, you'll know about most of these features, and if you dare to read the text above this video, you'll also know about many of these features. One of my favourite new lenses, which are now integrated into the dash, is the music lens. Uh, likewise, the file lens. I like the new filtering options by date or type, or even size. Good old search works as well. Uh, the dash also has window controls, talking of which they've been rather controversial change in Ubuntu 11.10. The window controls now hide by default. You need to mouse your mouse cursor up over them to reveal them. It's not a massive change, but some people do seem a little concerned about it. Personally, I'm rather content with it. Gwibber has been completely rewritten from scratch and now boasts some beautiful little animated touches and stuff. I've written and talked about this, about Gwibber, a lot, so I'm not, I'm not going to keep going on about it. Thunderbird is now the default email client and has a pretty slick native uh, Ubuntu integration. Likewise, the Ubuntu Software Center has been completely revamped with a new look. It's pretty snappy, actually. The Software Center isn't known for being the quickest of applications, but it feels very, very snappy. What else? Indicators. Yes, there are some indicator changes, uh, including some new indicators. Some indicators have been removed, and uh, some indicators have new options, including the messaging menu, which now has a clear option to get rid of all your IM alerts, etc. You'll also see pretty cool little photos there. That's the device menu. That's looking pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of, I'm almost out of breath. I need to go get some water because my mouth is now very dry. But I hope you enjoy Ubuntu 11.10 Beta 1. Download it. Let us know what you think on the blog, omgubuntu.co.uk.